enthalpy of solution is another enthalpy change that you'd expect you to know in some detail but higher. Again, what does it mean? Well, as it implies, it's the energy change when, in this case, a substance dissolves. How much of a substance? One mole. Take, for example, a compound like ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is a solid. If you were to dissolve this in water, of course you'd end up with ammonium nitrate solution. And in doing so, there'd be an enthalpy change. That would be the enthalpy of solution, providing you dissolve one mole of this. All these enthalpy changes assume you're dissolving one mole. When it says enthalpy of, think one mole. How could you do this in practice? Here's a possibility. You could use the likes of an insulated plastic cup. Because as with all these experiments, heat loss or heat gain can cause problems. What could be done here is you could, for example, put a small volume of water in this plastic cup. Let's say 25 cubic centimetres of water. Now when it comes to do the, come to do the calculation of this, this will have to be expressed in terms of its mass, which is 25 grams. But the mass has to be expressed in kilograms, which is 0.025 of a kilogram. That's the number we'll have to use to represent the water. You would need a thermometer here, because you need to monitor any change in temperature. Let's suppose we start with water from the tap, 18 degrees Celsius, let's say. Then we come along and we add some ammonium nitrate. Well, it's not realistic to add a mole of ammonium nitrate. We couldn't dissolve a mole of ammonium nitrate in such a small volume of water. Incidentally, one mole of ammonium nitrate would weigh 80 grams. 14, 14 plus 4 plus 14 plus 3 16 is 80 grams. So, instead of trying to resolve all 80 grams in here, let's dissolve a fraction of a mole. Let's dissolve something like 5 grams. Now, I've got the results here from an experiment that was done recently, where someone dissolved 5.13 grams of ammonium nitrate in the water. And here's what they found. They found that when they added the ammonium nitrate and stirred the water, the temperature fell. Well, that's a surprise. That means that this must be an endothermic reaction. When ammonium nitrate dissolves in water, it doesn't give out heat, it takes away heat. Can we calculate the value for this reaction? Yes, the energy produced, remember, can be found if we know C, M and delta T. And once again, all these values refer to the water. Now because it's water, we use its specific heat. It's a number unique to water. If we use some other liquid, we use some other number. But this is always going to be the number for water. This is the mass of the water. This is not the mass of the ammonium nitrate. This is the mass of the water. And we worked out the mass of the water was 0.025 of a kilogram. The temperature change, well there was a drop in temperature of, what is that, 13 degrees Celsius. It fell by. If we do this sum, if we calculate this here, we can see how much energy was involved. Now it's a very small amount of energy. On a small scale, only 1.36 kilojoules of energy is involved. What we're seeing is, when around about 5 grams of this chemical was dissolved, that's the energy change. What we want to know, of course, is what would be the energy change if a mole of material had been used. Well, earlier on we worked out that a mole of material was 80 grams. So if 5.13 grams gives this energy change, how much energy would be involved using 80 grams? The answer is a great deal more. This is going to be a much bigger number. So I suggest we take this 1.36 and make it much larger. 
Enlarge it by putting the big number on top and the small number below. And if we do this calculation, we can work out the energy that would have been produced if we dissolved a mole of ammonium nitrate. When you do this simple sum, it comes to 21.21 kilojoules. Now, is that good enough? No, because now we can say this is per mole, because after all, we are dissolving a mole of material. And finally, it might be a good idea to show clearly that it's an endothermic reaction. A couple of other points. How does this value from the experiment compare with a value from a data book? Now you won't find this value in the higher data book, but it is a value which is available. The correct value is 25.8 kilojoules per mole. Why the difference? Well, it's maybe not so much heat loss this time as heat gain. Let's face it, if the temperature here is falling, maybe heat from the outside is coming in and preventing it from going a little bit lower than that. That's a, a possibility in this reaction. Other possibilities might be that the ammonium nitrate we used wasn't as pure as it could be. Anyway, as with all these experiments, the value in the data is more accurate than the value from the experiment. But there it is, entropy of solution.